Ichiban, fresh out of Japan, do as I command, and what I demand is some fucking peace and quiet. Told him, please go to church and please get on the diet. What's up, guys? It's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Today's video is on my favorite squat accessory. It's a lift that I've used as I've gone from 550 pound squat to a near 600 pound squat. And I'm confident I'm going to continue to use it as I break through that barrier and hopefully beyond. Uh, it is the reverse hack squat because it is a low skilled movement with a big range of motion on the quads and less fatigue on the back. So the three lifts for clients that I consider for this slot in order is typically number one, the reverse hack squat. If they have a good setup for that, I recommend it. Number two, the belt squat. And then number three, the single leg press. So with that being said, let's just go into the reverse hack squat alone. First of all, the shin angle can be very positive on this lift. You can get your knees very far forward as long as you set up far away enough from the machine. And this is huge because again, this is what the focus is, is it's on getting the knee extension as big of a range of motion as possible. And of course your knees do need to be able to tolerate this position. So if you are having pain or discomfort, even with a light load, of course this lift just isn't fitting for you. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of those who adjust it to where their shin angles nearly vertical while doing the reverse hack squat, because in my opinion, then it's just not a very efficient lift at any one purpose. It's not a great lift for the posterior chain or for the glutes or to focus on hip extension. You could do lifts that focus on that better. So I want to be very clear on the intention. It's to have a moderate stance with, to get the knees very far forward and to take advantage of the fact that you're using a fixed path. So it's very easy to keep those knees forward. Even if you are weaker by doing that, the lift will just slow down. You won't kick your hips back like you would in a barbell squat where you, your body just kind of finds the right position if it absolutely has to. So the range of motion point is absolutely checked off. Now I will admit the back fatigue point, this one actually is the quote unquote worst out of all of those three options because you are actually loading at the shoulders. So of course you are going to get more stress on your back than a belt squat where you're loading on your hips or of course the single leg press. Uh, where you're just not even dealing with that directly. So there's a little bit of a downside, but you are more upright than you are in a barbell squat. Um, there's also a study comparing the hack squat versus the barbell squat, and it shows that there is less activation in the back, which, you know, when you do the lift, it's relatively obvious that that's the case. And um, yeah, they had 10 people, so I think that was just the researcher's family. But anyways, when it comes to the hack squat, the one downside to the regular hack squat and the reason why I recommend the reverse hack squat is the squat pattern is more similar to a regular squat. It's a more natural pattern in my opinion when it comes to the way the shin angle moves as you go in the descent. Sometimes what happens with the regular hack squat is you kind of fall into the hole and since the weight is behind your heels essentially, that is a a vastly different pattern, like I said, than a regular squat where the bar's over your midfoot. And it's, it's just not similar in terms of the stretch reflex either. My final point for the reverse hack squat is that it is a very low skilled lift. Once you figure out the exact position that you wanna be in, maybe even put a mark on the reverse hack squat, maybe just put a piece of tape so you don't you know, damage it or anything. Um, once you get that set, it's really simple. All you do is just go straight down and up. And I invite all you guys watching this to just give it a shot because once you get in that groove, you're able to grind through moderate reps, in my experience, far better than any other quad isolation. And I think that this is why it's really contributed so well to my progress. I was able to hit 405 for a set of eight or four plates per side. You know, I don't know how much the actual rack weighs um, for a set of eight, which you know, isn't a huge amount of weight on a machine, but you can see on the first rep, it's very slow. And then I'm able to push out seven more. On single leg press, you can't push heavy weight at all. Um, on a regular two leg press, you can't really get the same range of motion uh, comfortably because your pelvis is gonna tuck sooner since you are basically started in a hip flexed position. The belt squat, you can push very hard, but typically you have to keep it at 10 plus reps if you are pushing to RP nine plus because that first rep will just be too hard and too sensitive to leverage. 
uh, with the belt squat, it's really sensitive to if you're holding on to it, if you're pulling with your lats at all, if your just balance is in check. There's just so many different details that you could do slightly differently that might alter the weight significantly that just makes it a little bit harder to repeat. And this is nothing against the belt squat. I'm just saying that the reverse hack squat, in my experience, has been the simplest lift to implement. And when a client has a decent setup, it's very easy to just linearly load. And then if you have to change rep ranges, you have a very broad uh, set of rep ranges to use. You could go really high at 12 plus, maybe 15 plus reps, but you can break it down to eights and test at RP nine to 10. All right, that covers it. That's why I love the reverse hack squat. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys, peace. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who comes short again and again. Now my last point is that this is a very low skill lift that you can grind on. Now my last point, <laughs> that sounded weird.